Hi guys, today we're gonna make our very first step into one of the into one of the main concepts of programming and computer technology, data structures. So today I'm gonna show you why data structures are important. I'm gonna explain you I'm gonna explain you about them, why they're important, and I'm and I'm gonna show you a, a, an example of one of and of course at scratch. So first what is a data structure? A data structure is a way of collecting and organizing data in such a way that we can perform operations on this data and perform it in an effective way. So let's make it easy. For example, let's say you were playing Fortnite, which I, I really like that game, but you, let's say you were playing Fortnite and you found a, a lot of really cool weapons and loot. Well, well, Oh, that's basically data structures and when you're changing your weapon that you're using you're you're going through all your data collection that stores your weapons for another example let's say me and my sister made a made a wish list for christmas for our parents So the way how this data will be stored on a computer is called data structure. Why is it so important to store data in some kind of structures? People always deal with data. For thousands of years they've been collecting it, storing it, sending it to each other. But earlier when people had no computers, they stored their data on papers, for example books or letters, like our Christmas wish list. But when people started inventing computers, they started to store more and more and more data. And then they realized that computers are very useful to store data and make operations with it. So now let's go back to our wish list. So let's say my dad saw the wish list and he want and he looked up all of the items and their price. Let's say he wanted to sort them by the price. So it won't be difficult for him to do it, but it still will take some time. But we really like presents. So what if our so what if our list was 3 or 5 times longer? So let's think about Santa. He gets wish lists from billions of children and he organizes it without data structures or computers. Only his super magic powers can help him with that. For example, uh, so he can organize so he can organize the toy the toys by brand or the brand or price. As you understood, data structures help us to work with data, for example, sort it, for example, sort it, sort it, delete it, add data, and, and stuff such like that. There are numerous types of data structures, for example, list, trees, arrays, stacks, queues, and others. So this is a huge subject in computer science, but let's just talk about a couple of them that we can use in Scratch. But here's an example of how different types of data structures work. So let's talk about the Happy Chef game, for example. Uh, when people come, for example, the, I mean, uh, when people come, the first person that comes will be the first one that is served, right? Everyone knows what a queue is, right? Even people who don't know anything about computers and data structures. So a queue is a type of uh, a type of element, a type of data structure that every new element will be added to the end of the queue. Or the other words, first in, first out. And it works the same way as a line to get some tasty sweets. So this data structure type is called a queue. Here's another example of data structures, a stack, for example. So for example, let's say you got you had chips, not the ones you eat like like uh like blocks. So you would stack them like this. And so on. So if I'm adding it to the top, that means I'm adding it to the end of my collection. Because this was the beginning of it, which is the first chip. This works different than a queue. It's called a stack. Because 
if you wanted to take a chip, uh, I mean, an uh, element, or I mean a chip, you will take it from the end, the last one added. So the last one added will be the first one taken. If, because if you take the first one added, your, your data structure will be broken. So this type of data structure is called a stack. Now we'll go to our Scratch programming environment. Honestly, one reason why I wanted to make my video about data structures today was because of my previous video about cryptology. Watch it if you missed it for some reason. And in that video, there was a there was a hidden word that, uh, and I promised I would give you a twenty five dollar gift certificate for Amazon if you if you found the word. But there are a couple people, not just one, but a couple people that are already that already found the word, the word. So we're gonna we're gonna go to Scratch and make a program that that does a random select on who gets the gift card. So let's go let's go to our Scratch programming environment and see and see some new blocks that use our that use our, the data structure type list. Over here, I added a sprite that I'm going to use in my project. So now let's go to the data section. Over here, we can, we can get a list. So you already got, you already from one of my other videos, uh, no, the, no variables, right? So right now, let's make a variable winner. Right now, let's make a list and we're going to call it names. Right when you get a list, there are gonna be command blocks for the uh, for the work with the list. For example, add element to the list, delete element from the list, in insert the element in a certain place in the list, replace element from the list, take element from the list, length of the list. This command returns the the number of elements in the list. And this command says if if the element exists in the list. You can add elements to the list by by just clicking that little plus on the bottom left corner. And you can also delete them. But I want to add elements when when the add name sprite is clicked. So let's program that right now. Let's add a little hint. So whenever I type in a name and click enter, it's going to add to the list. You see how it works? So now let's go on and build our select winner random functionality. wizard he is going to select the random winner
already working, so the wizard can can already pick the random uh, can already randomly select the winner. So so now let's add some enhancements to make our project really cool. So here's how our finished project looks like and works. And remember, you can always check this out on on a link on the link below on and you can check it out on Scratch. So guys, I have awesome news for you. Like I promised you in the cryptology video, I'm going to I'm going to make a random selector project to see who's going to win to see who's going to win the Amazon gift card. Uh, and by the way, the secret word is spy. But as there's only 5 people who who found the word found out the word, so I guess it was uh, kind of pretty hard. I I thought uh, everyone would deserve a $25 gift card. So everybody who got the word correct and filled out the form will, will, will get a $25 Amazon gift card. So go check your mailbox. So subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button if you liked that video. And, and I hope you liked it. Bye.